In this video, we talk about if Halo Infinite will have enemy variants, Arbiter DLC, who will you play as when co-op comes to Halo Infinite, and does the campaign have too many characters? Or I discuss that and a lot more in this video, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. What's up Halo fans, Kevin here, and today I have a different kind of video for you all. I know with all the different types of news and information that flutters around the internet, there might be some questions that might need some clarity, and also just have some general concerns you might want answered. Well, in this video, I go into answering your guys' questions. So what I did, I recently went on my community page on my YouTube channel here, guys. If you want to catch these posts, make sure you subscribe to the channel to catch them the next time they go live. And I asked you guys, do you have any questions about Halo Infinite? And you guys certainly responded a lot, and so I'm going to go into some of these questions you guys left within the comments here and replied to most of them as well like i said if you want to keep up with what happens next time for these q a type of videos make sure to time subscribe to the channel if you want to participate so let's just jump right into the content here toxic asks in the blog post they mentioned different variations of enemies yet throughout the entire campaign overview we only see one class of elite not including Jega. Mega Construct seems to hint at different ranks, but it is odd that we have yet to see any game renders. Any thoughts on why? Now, in all fairness, this question was grabbed about 10 days ago. This is before the big reveals that we had uh, last week when it came to Halo Infinite's campaign and stuff like that. But Halo's campaign gameplay actually showcased ranks within the elites, at least at what we saw. We saw some blue elites, we saw some red elites, as well and we also kind of saw this within the brutes as well like that brute that jumped down from the brute phantom and it was wearing like a red armor with the rocket launcher right that's a different variation than a regular brute that we've seen we have these common tier kind of brutes that were in blue armor very traditional from what we've seen in halo we have those berserker brutes we have also higher ranking brutes and boss brutes as well various boss battles as well on top of that so yes, we will be seeing enemy variants rather than just the different ranks and species like we've had in Halo 4 and 5. We'll actually have different variants, which is much more in tune with like classic Halo. So I'm all for that. Very exciting to have like these little mini bosses within like these actual boss battles and stuff like that. Just to give different variation and variety with the way these characters act. Hopefully the AI along with these are different than just like being better bullet sponges, which usually from my memory that uh, the bungee games, at least for like the higher ranking elites, they would uh, act a little differently, be more maneuverable, dodge your shots, dodge your grenades a lot more than these lower tier elites. So I'm hoping for something along that line, but of course, we'll just kind of have to wait and see when it happens. Sad asks, if 343 plans that this new Halo lasted 10 years, do you think that in some future we will see the Elite's return? perhaps with a campaign DLC related to the Arbiter. Now, I'm assuming when you say see the elites return, I have a feeling you mean like the Swords of Sanghelios, right? That group of Sanghelios that are following the Arbiter, I guess is what you mean by that. But yeah, we're definitely going to see the elites come in. But I think obviously the question really asks, are we going to get an Arbiter DLC? And that would be shocked over like the 10 year period that we do not see the Arbiter at all. Uh, there's plenty of room for 343 to create some story involving the Arbiter, maybe even an Arbiter special campaign, which would be pretty sweet. Bringing back Keith David as the voice actor for the Arbiter would be absolutely amazing. Maybe help a chance to kind of dive more into the Sanghili Civil War, which that is a huge topic by itself, which is so just glossed over in Halo 5 that it just, you didn't really feel the weight of what's going on over there. I think I honestly warranted an entire new campaign DLC or even a whole new game of like the swords of saying Healy and like it's the you play as the Arbiter the whole time with your swords of saying Helios taking on the Covenant remnant like I think that would be pretty freaking sick especially since I don't expect us to see the Arbiter at all with the launch campaign that we'll have for Halo Infinite I'm just still just kind of curious about what is the cadence of new content when it comes to the campaign because we've seen pictures of saying campaigns with an S on there, implying that we will be getting more, which totally makes sense if Halo Infinite is going to be a live service type of game. You know, we've seen this like with Destiny, adding in more story content throughout the games. Lifespan, so I expect to same, see the same thing with Halo Infinite, but in what capacity, we'll kind of see. I'd like to see some kind of themes tied in with these as well, it would be pretty cool. If we don't see the Flood in Halo Infinite, which 
IGN did say within like the first four hours of playing Halo Infinite's campaign that the Flood are alluded to in the campaign, but you don't see him at all, that maybe we could have like a Flood focused campaign, which would be pretty sweet. Uh, we've heard that the Prometheans are just not in the game at all, IGN as well as Game Informer said that in their video. So if that's not a spoiler, they're just link giving you proper expectations, really. So that'd be kind of cool to see like a Forerunner specific Promethean, maybe a specific kind of DLC as well. To try, uh, push forward to have more thematic kind of elements added into Halo, rather than just being like another awesome Master Chief story blowing up aliens, you know, just kind of mix it up and have some cool parts with it. The Dream 16 asks, do you think with co-op, instead of having copies of Master Chief, we'll get to use our multiplayer Spartans. Now this is something I'm really hoping for just because I would just it just feels weird having multiple Master Chiefs. I mean they allude they alleviate this issue with Halo 3 being able to play as elites, but I'd much rather play as Spartans. That's just kind of how I prefer to play the game, honestly. Uh, I think with Halo 4, you just had multiple Master Chiefs. Uh, Halo Reach did a great job of you being able to take control of parts of Noble Team as well, which is awesome. Halo Reach alleviated this issue as well, as well as Halo 5, actually. I like the idea of like the squad mechanics and the unique characters that you had in Halo 5 for the campaign for co-op. Uh, they just didn't really feel unique enough or provide any gameplay mechanics that one could offer to the other. They felt much more like singular, like, I'm the fast one, so now I can go fast. Does it help you? No, but I can go fast. That's kind of like how Halo 5 has kind of felt. The campaign co-op for Halo Infinite, which will be released in hopefully three months after the release of the game with the next season for season two that I would expect to have our multiplayer Spartans be the player two, three, and four and have Master Chief be the lead character that you play as. Or maybe even have the option to play as your multiplayer Spartan maybe after you complete the campaign or something. I think that would be really awesome since we do know that lore-wise your multiplayer Spartan in Halo Infinite is canon. They are part of the universe of Halo Infinite and so it would actually canonly make sense if that's a word canonly uh, makes sense to add them into the campaign as well to help support the Master Chief and so I think that would be a really great opportunity to bring in that customization that's been so heavily pushed by 343 into the campaign side of things as well because right now it seems like you got the multiplayer battle pass and you got all that progression all that customization and then you have the campaign which is just like much more just the campaign kind of thing have some kind of crossover. I'd like to see that ability bringing your multiplayer Spartans in the campaign. I think it would just be totally awesome. We do know Jerry Hook said about the campaign co-op for Halo Infinite that it'll be two player split screen and four player online co-op as well. So I just have a feeling that 3v3 will do something besides just having multiple Master Chiefs. I just, I never liked games that just multiplied the same like lead character in campaigns. Halo for the most part has done a pretty good job of this, uh, though they have just duplicated Master Chiefs before. But hopefully Hopefully they bring your multiplayer Spartan because that would just be so cool. Ryan Tanzi asks, there are a lot of different factions coming into the story of Halo Infinite. Do you think this could be a problem with characters like the pilot or others not getting the time they need to really bond with the player, i.e. Palmer and Locke? This would totally make sense as this was a major issue. Pretty much like the biggest issue that Halo 5 storytelling had that there were just so many characters, so many new characters on top of that. There was just no time to really get a chance to know them at all besides being like, I am this one, I am that one. I played this role in the story. I played that role. They all felt very cookie cutter and purposeful rather than actual living people or characters within the world, which I think Halo Infinite is trying to alleviate that through three. I think recognizes a lot of the downfalls they have with Halo 5's story. And what they want to do is have a much more focused story. And like I mentioned with Cortana, not really being like part of the campaign, at least for the first four hours, that campaign for the uh, what IGN and Game Informer said, but they still said that the reason why everyone's doing everything they're doing right now is because of Cortana and the AI trying to can take over the galaxy. So there is this like over looming threat with like the created taking over the creators. But right now what's most important is trying to survive against these banished bad guys right here. Uh, but yeah, like we have like Master Chief, you have the pilots, you also have uh, Eshram, you have Cortana as well, you have the Harbinger, like, these are all very major characters within the world of Zeta Halo and the camp for the first campaign, which 
has been said that it's going to be the longest campaign that we've ever had in a Halo game. So there will be hopefully more time to tell stories within these characters. Oh, and no, the weapon too. Don't forget the weapon. That's seven main characters that we got to take in, in consideration when making this, talking about this game and also the stories about it. So I think I'm worried a little bit about the 343 also falling into the same issue that we had with Halo 5, but they did say it's a Master Chief focused story. Everything is going to be revolving around the Master Chief and everyone's going to be kind of like these external elements outside of the Master Chief where in Halo 5, the big issue was like Locke and Master Chief and this person and that person. And like there was like no really sense of like a main character, or just like these people in these situations. Mark Kendall asks, how often do you think we'll get to see slash fight the Spartan killers while playing the campaign? This one I actually kind of had to think about a little bit just because of how these Spartan killers are going to play out within the story, right? Uh, we do know they're going to be high value targets, but do these high, va high value targets count as Spartan killers? Or are these Spartan killers main bosses that you'll hit while playing through the campaign? From what it sounds like, these Spartan killer boss fights are gonna be main story beats, which I think are gonna be tied to the golden path. And so I think that these high value targets are gonna be kind of like, you know, a little bit better than like your average kind of enemy that you fight against. IGN and Game Informer mentioned this one high value target that they took on, which basically was an elite that had a really cool like sword variant, not just like a regular energy sword, but an energy sword that did a little bit of extra stuff. I think they said it did a little bit more force damage or force pushing when uh, you actually did like a lunge or something like that. Uh, so it depends on like, how those characters play out, uh, how those gunfights play out as well. Uh, they seem to do provide a purpose for the high value targets, but for the Spartan killers, I think that since they seem to be so unique, right? And that they'd be tied with boss battles and that they just seem to be highly developed sequences with the Spartan killers, that I feel like these are gonna be like main story beats that we're gonna be hitting throughout the way of Halo Infinite. So the ones that I can think of off the top of my head that are Spartan killers, we have Jacob Redumni, we have Hyperius, Tavarius, and also Tremonius as well. So that's four Spartan killers right there. Uh, I guess you might want to count Ashram as well, because come on, we're going to fight Ashram eventually within the campaign, probably kick his butt in some capacity, right? So maybe like that equal like a five right there. Of course, I would also equal like the hand of Atriox, which I believe brutes have four fingers, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong in that. I also could just be a little too literal when it comes to the sense of the hand of Atriox and things like that. Usually games kind of run in the rules of threes, like the third time through is when you kind of get like that third wave completed, right? Then you can move on to the next task kind of thing. So I think that these Spartan Killers are definitely going to be run into being the beats of the main story that you'll need to play through. I'm still hoping for a Grunt Spartan Killer. Like, please, 343, give us a Grunt Spartan Killer. I would just love to see it. It would be so hilarious and awesome at the same time. Like, give me some, like, lethal yap yap. I mean, come on. Let's just do it, man, for funsies. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.